The body camera footage obtained by Denver 7 shows a Greeley police officer placing a man in a chokehold. The officer was turned in by his colleagues and now faces charges. Now the man he's accused of assaulting is in jail tonight on an unrelated matter and tonight sharing his story with Gary Broad. You're going to come in my car. Don't force me. This is video from the perspective of two Greeley officers. One is Officer Ken Amick. The 15 year veteran of the Greeley Police Department is seen in the video putting Matthew Wilson in a chokehold. A move no longer allowed by state law. Wilson says he doesn't recall much of what happened that day. I just remember hearing his voice, you know, him telling me that I can stand up and walk like a man. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, pull You're up. a grown man. Stand up. Stand up. Greeley officers were called out when Wilson went into a building asking for work to install fire safety devices. Employees at the building didn't take it that way. I guess I gave him a fright when I was talking to him about it. They took it as, uh, as that I was going to burn, like threatening to burn down the building, which I, which I wasn't. This was Wilson explaining to officers what his services could provide. What I'm thinking is the fire starts here. You don't need to soak the entire house in order to put out this fire, right? You just, you just have the activated system right here. Wilson says he's been diagnosed as bipolar and was having a manic episode. You know, at times I've heard voices. Like, like I wasn't trying to hurt nobody, you know. I was just, I was just, I was just trying, trying to do something decent. When officers tell Wilson he has a warrant and they plan to search him, the 36-year-old with a history of resisting arrest was reluctant. Then he agrees under one condition. You can hug me first and then you can search me. Officer Amick complies, however, the interaction quickly takes a turn. You're not going to grab my hand. Okay. You are. So release. When Amick places Wilson in the chokehold, it appears another officer grabs Amick's hand. When Wilson gets back to his feet, it wasn't long after a second altercation took place. That's your hand, my bad, my bad. Let go of it. Let go of my hand. All I remember, uh, my wrist, my wrist hurting is, uh, it was really super uncomfortable. So I reached while I was handcuffed with it, reached across my back with my other hand and tried to pull it down a little bit. Then I remember him being yelled at about, uh, about letting go of his hand. I didn't, I didn't really understand that I was holding his hand at the time. Greeley Police Department says two officers contacted their supervisors regarding Amick's tactics. An investigation led to Amick being placed on unpaid leave and now facing second degree assault charges. While Wilson awaits his time in court, he hopes what took place can act as yet another example of the need for mental health training. Justice to me would be just better training protocols. Like, you know, I think officers need to be, you know, trained when it comes to somebody that has uh, mental health issues. And the Greenlee Police Department says, we wanted to let our community know we are and have been cooperating with the Weld County District Attorney's Office on this matter. Going on to say, we also wanted to state that we are proud of the two officers who came forward with the excessive force complaint. In Greeley, Gary Broad, Denver 7. And obtaining that footage was hard fought. Denver 7 joined with several news organizations to petition a court to allow its release. The prosecution didn't want anyone to see it prior to trial, and neither did the officer's attorney. Well, the Colorado Freedom of Information Coalition says the judge ultimately decided he did not buy their objections and ordered it released.